Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to be painting a Christmas tree. This is a part of our holiday mini series. There are eight of them um, and I drew them all in my sketchbook and then these are all the drawings. But today we are going to be doing our Christmas tree and um, a bunch of them have already been posted so if you haven't seen them feel free to check them out um, and I'll be posting a couple more. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss a video. Um, so yeah, um, I'm using a paper palette, a palette knife, um, an assortment of brushes, and then these are all of the colors, um, just like primary and secondary colors, plus I have a brown and a gold, um, and that is the same palette that I use for every single painting, but I'll walk through in detail what colors I actually use as we get into the video. And so right here I am drawing a tree, and I'm just doing like kind of the outer shape and then the all of the like color variation and detail is just going to be done in paint so i'm not going to be drawing out any of those details and these panels are four by four i got them at michael's and then i'm using a 2 h pencil but any pencil will do um, and i have the painting down here in the bottom left corner so you can screenshot that if you are following along and yeah it's a pretty um simple drawing if you wanted you could even just kind of draw like a cone shape and then just go a little bit outside of that shape with the paint strokes which i will show you as we get further along into it yeah but these pan uh panels are really nice for like some mini paintings and they're really like kind of just quick and easy i would say um this painting probably took me about 20 minutes in total and um but yeah, no, it's it was super fun to create. And if you do um, recreate this painting, please feel free to share it with me on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see it. So um, I'm going to be showing you how to mix up every single color. Um, but this color that I actually mixed up was for our gingerbread house painting, which is already posted. Um, but I'm just taking some green and a little bit of slow dry medium and a little bit of gold and a little bit of white and that was the background that I used for the gingerbread house. So I'm just adding in more white and I'm mixing that in. I'm using a palette knife. If you don't have one, um, you could just use a brush. That's totally fine. And then here's our drawing. We're gonna put that right on our board. And we're gonna go straight into our first color, which is the green. And I'm putting down a base coat um, for our tree, and then we're gonna go over it with like a lot thicker paint. But here I'm using a square flat brush, and I'm lining and I'm like pushing the brush all the way up to each pencil line and just filling in all of that green into the tree. And so I'm doing the green first and then I'm gonna go in and do the background after and just the reason I'm doing that is so this green gets a chance to dry before we go in with our other um, colors. And all of these paintings were inspired by um, like the simplicity of like ornaments and Christmas cookies. So I wanted to make a bunch of like really simple paintings that were fun and just like beautiful in their own way, even though they're not like super detailed, they're just simple um, and like anyone can do them. And they're kind of like fun paint night ideas too. So if you wanted to have a paint night with friends, I feel like this could be something that everyone could enjoy.
Okay, so now we're gonna mix our background color. So this is just blue and white, and we're just gonna mix that together. Okay, so now we're going to go into the blue and we're just gonna fill in the background. So I just cleaned off the same brush and then I'm using some horizontal brush strokes and just filling in this blue. So for the background, it doesn't have to perfectly line up to the tree because when we put our paint on, we're gonna be like dolloping it on and it's going to go past um, the line that we have for like the outline that we have of the tree but it serves as like a nice base coat to um, like make sure that the background is green so that there, like, if there's any gaps, those are all green showing through. Okay, so now we're going to make some light brown. So this is just our burnt umber with a little bit of white. And we're just going to paint a straight horizontal line at the bottom for our tree trunk. So now we're gonna go in with a um, dark green. So this is our green. We don't have any white mixed in. And if you want it a little bit darker, you could make um, a green mixed in with a little bit of red. And you can kind of see I'm using a lot of paint on the brush. Um, I would say I dip it in like every few branches that I'm doing. And I'm just doing like really like heavy brush strokes along each row. And so then I'm going to smooth out some of these edges so that um, it like fills in some of those gaps more. And then we're going to go in with a lighter green and do the exact same motion. And we're just going to go right on top and create like um, some texture with the paint and a lot of depth here. And then I even kind of sweep these up a little bit higher just to cover a lot of those gaps. So when I fill up my brush and I dip it in the paint and then I'm creating these upward sweeping brush strokes, I'm rotating my paintbrush so that I can use all of the paint from every side of the brush. And then that helps so that you don't have to dip your brush in as many times.
And now we're going in with a even lighter green and we're doing the exact same motion again. And so there's three shades of green. You'll need a darker green, a mid-tone, and a light green. Um, and then that will kind of create like this um, effect that gives you a lot of depth in your painting and makes the tree really stand out. So yeah, all you have to do is really just add, keep adding white to your shades. So you can start with a dark green um, straight out of the tube and then for your medium tone add a little bit of white and then for your light tone add a lot of white. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going in with a small brush and dipping it into the white, rolling off the excess paint, and then I'm just going to lightly tap some snowflakes into the background. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and dip your paint brush into like a bunch of different colors and put in some ornaments or lights on your tree. Um, I opted not to just because I wanted to keep all of these super simple and I really, really like the texture of this. And so I just decided to not do any ornaments. So this is the final painting. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. I feel like this is really cute. And I don't know, I just like the simplicity and the depth to it. So I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.